Hello friends, welcome to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. In this video, we would be learning about the pH chemistry that is actually required for hydroponics. So let's dig into the pH chemistry here. pH is a measure of acidity which matters because nutrients are more or less available to plants at different levels of acidity. That means you will need to find a spot on the pH scale where all the nutrients are made easily available and plants get what they actually need in their growing stage. pH is represented by a scale that ranges from 0 to 14. 0 being the most acidic, 7 being the neutral and 14 being the most alkaline. We'll switch on to our next slide here. Now, the most important part here is to test pH. Now, pH is a measure of acidity in the water, as I had said you in the previous slide. So, a pH of less than 7 is acidic and a pH greater than 7 is basic or alkaline. The ideal pH for humans is 7.3 to 7.45. But each plant has its own unique pH. The pH level of your water will tell you the nutrient uptake of the plants. Most plants have a specific pH range that will allow them to intake optimal nutrient levels. If the pH is too high, too low or changes too drastically, it can shock and kill plants in few hours or few days. Testing your source water pH will give you an idea of whether you can use this water for your plants or not. Go for a water source which has a pH range of 4.5 to 7.5. It is easy to manage the pH in this range. If the water pH is more than 7.5 or less than 4.5, then you should think of alternative water source as it will consume a lot of balances in order to maintain the pH. pH can be measured using pH meter which is easily available online and can be purchased from local gardening stores as well. We'll go to another slide here now. The term pH stands for potential hydrogen because hydrogen ions that is H plus and hydroxide ions that is OH negative are what causes a solution to be alkaline or acidic. As you know, water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen ions. Where pure water has pH of 7, which means that it has equal number of hydrogen and hydroxide ions because nothing less is in the water to break up the atoms. As water molecules break up, which happens when a nutrients are added to it and it reacts with water. After that, water then becomes acidic or alkaline. Another way of saying is, another way of saying this is that water molecules breaks down and forms hydrogen ions. Another way of saying this is that water molecules break down and forms hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. So pH depends on which is formed in higher concentration. We'll switch on to our next slide here. Basic concept is, if the hydrogen ion concentration is more, then the solution is acidic in nature. And pH for acidic solution is from 0 to 6.9. And if hydroxide ions concentration is more, then the solution is alkaline in nature and the pH ranges from 7.1 to 14. If the solution has equal concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ions, it is neutral, that is pH is 7. And it's important to understand how acidic or alkaline your solution is because it gives information about nutrients availability for the plants. Therefore, the hardness of your source water can help us to identify deficiencies. Therefore, the maximum part of nutrients can be made available to the plants if mixed with the water which has pH range of about 5.8 to 6.5. And before that, 
make sure you calibrate your pH meter to get the right result. So make sure for your hydroponic system you have the best instrument for pH measuring and don't rely on the cheap products that cost for around like 200 or 300 rupees. I won't suggest you to go with that because that won't give you the exact information about the pH, uh, pH scale of your nutrients that you'll be using for your hydroponic system. So make sure anytime you use any instrument for your hydroponic system, make sure it's of best quality and that would give you the best output for your hydroponic system. At any point, when you need any kind of information about the pH meters, which is the best or which can be used for the hydroponic system, which can be for the beginners, which can be for the intermediates and which can be for the experts, you can just ping me and I'll let you know the best options as per your uh, experience. Thank you and we'll end the session here. Goodbye and have a nice day.